What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel with me Mrs. Z1. We are hopping into Deep Rock Galactic Survivor the demo. If you guys are interested in checking out this demo for yourself link down below where you can check it out over on Steam. I do not believe the demo is available anywhere else but I'm not 100% sure on that. This game is completely different than Deep Rock Galactic. I love Deep Rock Galactic. That is like one of my favorite games. It is probably my top mul favorite multiplayer game. I love it. Um, but anyways, you're going to play and you have upgrades that go with you to help you in your playthroughs, in your runs that make things easier. So I've actually played this a little bit. I actually recorded a video and I just feel like I didn't know as much about the game and I was kind of like all over the place in the video. So we are redoing the video to make it better. So we can go look right here for upgrades and you can see some of the things we can upgrade. Now I'm guessing once like this is the demo, I'm sure there's probably going to be other ones or you're going to be able to go further than this because I mean, look, we are pretty, we are pretty high up there. We are already level two on some of them and I haven't played all that much. Um, but how you upgrade these is you need credits as well as various different resources. Now you find the resources in your runs, but we are going to go ahead and play. The only thing available in the demo is the crystalline cavern. So we're going to go over here and I'm still on hazard level one. I believe it's going to go up to hazard level three. Um, it looks like it'll go up to level four. It's just not going to be in the demo yet. You will have to see that when the game actually comes out. So in order to get up to hazard level two, it looks like we have to earn two of these little like badges. Now I've already earned one of them by reaching 25 with the scout. Uh, we could also earn another one by upgrading this to level 12 or complete the dive. And now I've gotten pretty close to completing the dive, but I just haven't done it yet. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hop on in. Um, it looks like you're going to have the ability to play as any of the characters, but the only one available for the demo is the scout, which I'm kind of bummed about because I always play as a driller. I love the driller. Um, also, if you don't know, this is a single player game. I know a lot of people are a little upset about that because Deep Rock Galactic is a multiplayer game, but Deep Rock Galactic Survivor is single player. So we are going to, we have classic or recon. I'm going to go with recon You're on your and own this time. you don't have to actually click anything. You just go up to things and it just starts mining it. And as we fill up this bar on the bottom of our screen, like we're already at level two, you can see on the bottom left hand side, we get level ups. And I believe every level we get another one of these that we get to choose. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. And that was one of our uh, minerals that we'll save up. I'm going to go ahead and keep on selecting. I like to click, uh, select the ones that are like rare. But the things that will help us right now are going to be collecting gold and nitra. So I want to make sure that I'm gathering those. Okay, so there are supply pods that randomly show up as you're doing the dive. And I'll show you in the top of the screen. You can see when the supply pods are going to come, when you're going to have a swarm when you're going to go against the big dude at the end of the run. Um, so supply pod, you get to choose between random things. I'm going to go with this one because I'd like some XP and we're going to get another gun. I'm going to get that guy. So like I said, all you have to do is just walk up to things and it auto mines for you. It auto shoots, which is pretty awesome. Um, you just need to make sure you're paying attention because you can take damage. Your health bar is in the bottom of the screen and it's red. Uh, sadly, it took me a while to figure that out. <laughs> okay, so we have a swarm incoming and you can see at the top in the middle, um, that icon right there, that's a swarm. So we knew there was a swarm coming. So we are a little bit over halfway and the little squares being dropped on the ground are like the XP that is filling up our bottom bracket. 
And because I've played this a few times, I actually unlocked the ability to have a second objective. And our second objective can be seen in the top right and it's collect bolo caps. So right now we have seven of 12. I think by doing that, we just get a couple, I think we get extra money, possibly. Extra uh, resources and stuff deposited. Kill the elite slasher. Okay, so that's what our last objective is to do. Also, you may have noticed in the uh, middle left part of the screen right here, you'll see that there's actually like these little like bubbles. We're on the top bubble right now. You have to have, you actually have to complete five runs in order to finish the dive. So every time we're going to go down deeper and deeper and every single run is actually going to be harder than the next one. <laughs> So by the end, it definitely gets super spicy. So you want to make sure you're collecting up the XP. You want to make sure you're collecting up um, all of the minerals that you can so you can continue to upgrade things. Okay, so we took him out. And once the big dudes get taken out, they drop a whole bunch of XP. So I'm going to try to grab it. But there's usually a bunch of little guys that are right there next to it. And uh, yeah, they can definitely take you out or do some serious damage. Okay, so also once you complete the objective, you have to try to get to the drop pod as soon as you can because you only have 30 seconds to get there. Also be on the lookout because sometimes you can find these magnets hanging around. And if you get a magnet, it auto collects all the XP that's on the ground and it helps level up a lot. Okay, so we finished the run with 72 gold, 32 nitra. So we aren't able to get as much stuff as I was hoping, but we can get some stuff. I'm going to increase our armor, max HP, and we are going to continue on. If I wanted to, we could heal. Um, we could also re-roll, but I think, I think we're good. We're going to continue on. So you're also going to notice all of the bugs that are in this are the same exact bugs that you encounter in the um, original Deep Rock Galactic, which I think is pretty darn cool. They have Praetorians, they have um, Dreadnoughts, they have it all. It is so much fun. Also, when you pause the game, you can go ahead and look at all of your stats, um, as well as your stats on your gun and stuff like that, if you are interested. Oh, look at that. We got some explodey dudes. Things are getting exciting here, guys. Things are getting very, very exciting. Now, I will say the explodey dudes, you can definitely use those dudes to your advantage because they can help you take out some of the bigger guys or some a whole bunch of the smaller dudes. Also, make sure you are paying attention when you have the level ups because I got a little tripped up in the beginning too. Um, if you look like this is going to increase the fire rate for this weapon, this is going to increase the reload speed for this weapon. This is going to increase 10% damage on kinetic weapons. Sometimes you will get ones that say they do it for all weapons. Sometimes you do not. So make sure you're paying attention because you might be like me and you might think you're upgrading everything and it's, it, you're really not. Oh man, I just realized that we're supposed to be collecting a Polka Blooms and I only have two. Okay, so with the first run, especially, I'm trying to make sure that I get almost everything because it's, like I said, it's our easiest one. Um, and things just continue to get harder and harder. Also, you do not automatically have the mini map. The mini map is another thing that you unlock. It is very, very helpful because sometimes I'll go over here and this is the end of the map and you don't even realize and then you're backed into a corner. So if you can get them, if you can get the mini map. So when you get the mini map, it is uh, very nice. See, we're going to have to be careful over here because now I kind of stuck us in a corner. Oh, we did it. We pulled it out. Okay, we need to kill the elite slasher again. And as soon as we kill him, that will end our run. And then we'll have to find our way back to the drop pod. Now, what I've seen, I don't think you can actually kill the, the explodey dudes with shots. I think you can only kill them with explosions. 
Now, I've never not actually made it onto the drop pod, but I'm assuming if you don't make it on the drop pod, you don't complete that run and you fail. You know, I have to admit, oh my gosh, we're going to die. Okay, I didn't have to admit that, but oh my gosh, things are getting so spicy right now. Okay, holy smokes, we need to use some of these exploder dudes to our advantage. Okay, what I was going to say is I love this game. I know there's a lot of people that do not like these type of games because they don't like to play the same exact thing over and over again, which, I mean, you are playing the same exact thing over and over again, but to me, like, you're not because... You're getting constant, you're constantly getting upgrades nice. and things are getting better. Oh my goodness. We just unlocked an overclock. Ooh, knocks back enemies. I think we're going to do that. <gasps> magnet. Oh my goodness. Do you see that? That magnet yeah. is amazing. I love the magnet. Okay. So this round, we need to kill the elite Mactera, uh, which he is flying. So, I mean, that's not super fun. Also, I just realized we have not gotten our second objective. So I really need to focus on that. I need to get all this more kite. Oh, and I'm going to take damage. Okay. So we got all the more kite. Just need to take out this dude. We did it. And we're going to have to make our way back to the drop pod. I love the explodey dudes. <laughs> they are my favorite. I just love the explosions. Okay. There was so much XP over there and there was some health, but we got to make sure we get it back. We get back to the drop pod in time. I got to say, I'm feeling pretty good about this run, guys. I'm feeling pretty good. We have to just complete this one and then we have the last one. Now, I will say the last one is a lot harder than the previous ones, but I feel like we I feel like I've been doing super good this run. This dive is going to be completed. I feel it in my bones. Okay, so this run we are taking out the Elite Mactera as well, and I also, I take it back, I think that you can actually kill the explodey bugs without having them explode. I think yes, they just have nice. a lot of armor, and it takes a lot. Oh my goodness, this is so great. Oh my goodness. Oh, the explosions are amazing. Okay, so we took out the big dude. Drop pod is coming. We need to, we need to get back to the drop pod. Oh my goodness, but I want all this stuff. 15 seconds. Can we do it? I see it. I see it. 10 seconds. Come on. Why does it feel like I was walking so slow? Okay, so we have completed the first four. Now we just have the last one to do. Okay, so we're looking for these little eggs, and there are elites in the eggs, so we need to make sure we're taking those out. Um, and I think, at least last time I did this, I think there was three eggs. And once you take out the last egg, uh, the dreadnought comes out of the big egg. And I kind of made a mistake last time. And uh, had all the big guys out at the sec exactly the same time. And so everybody was kicking my butt. So we're going to try not to do that this time. We're going to try to take them out and then get the dreadnought out. Okay. I think this might be our last one. I'm thinking so because now it says to kill the dreadnought. Um, but the dreadnought's going to be after us as well as this elite uh, slasher thing. So I want to make sure. Oh, there's a dreadnought right there. Oh my goodness. He's going to get me. Oh my gosh. He's like on me. Okay. As long as we can continue to dodge him and just kind of chipping away at him, then we'll we'll be just fine. Okay, this time was super easy. Okay, so we completed the mission. Finally, I was able to complete the full dive. And like I said, uh, we collected a thousand gold. At least I have done that. So now we got gold tipped bullets. We have an ammo rig. Oh, uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, and then we can go in here and we can go to upgrade and we can upgrade whatever we decide we would like to upgrade. And then we can go play and look at that. We can now play Hazard 2. How exciting is that? Let me know if you guys check out the demo for yourself. Would be interested to see. I would be interested to see what you guys think of it as well. <laughs> if you can hear a little baby, I have a friend. <laughs>
cheering me on. Maybe that's why I was able to uh, <laughs> complete the full dive this time. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for some more content, some more games coming to the channel. I'm trying to get better about making sure we are having a at least one video come out every single week. I'm super excited to play some more games, get back into some of the games that we were playing. As always, leave me comments down below on what games you're excited to see back on the channel. If you want to follow any of the other social medias, links down below in the description as well. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, everybody.